Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get this lazy effect inside After Effects. It actually looks so hard and I would say it is like pretty easy to do as well. So without wasting any more time, let's just get into the tutorial. So in my timeline, you can see we have this like clip over here. We're gonna add the effect on. So as you can see, it is like really short and I have this like blank space on my comp. For some reason, it is because I want to make it like slow-mo. So when doing like a slow-mo and stuff, you really like need to have a longer clip so we have the effect like lasting for a little long and it doesn't look like too sloppy you know what i'm saying so to make that slow-mo we're gonna pre comp this layer you can see this like grape digger i'm gonna rename it to footage actually and you can just select this right click pre comp right here move all attributes and adjust the duration to the span of the selected clips and just hit ok now what we're gonna do is go to where it says composition like selecting our composition go to composition composition settings right here and in composition settings in duration just copy this like this value right here and now just open this footage comp right here go to composition settings selecting this comp so composition settings and just paste it here so it is like the original duration of our original comp so now if i go back to my original comp you can see we have the like the pre-comp all on my composition that's exactly what we want before going further into the video i just want to let you guys know about the christmas sale going on my side it's a buy one get one free sale so if you buy one pack you'll get one for completely free like 100 percent free and you can do this as much time as you want so you can add two packs in your card and get that one for free or you can add six packs to your card and get three for free this sale you can cop like my best selling essential fx with any other pack that you want like some 3d title and stuff so i highly recommend taking advantage of the sale because i don't do this type of sale usually i do this type of sale once in a year so just take advantage of that but let's just get back into the video so now we're gonna add the slow-mo so for that i'll be using our effect called time warp right here you can see time warp add it on your clip no external plugin required this is a default plugin from after effects but in here go to where it says speed and set it to 100 first so it's on the original and right to where your clips end so around like here for me i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in the speed uh maybe put it around here and just go a few frames forward and just and just set it to 10 on the value right here so it like goes into slow-mo right there as you can see now we're gonna start adding all the other effects so for that just pre-comp this clip again so right click pre-comp uh, so it is on a new clip like this and now we just gonna duplicate this like pre comp right here by hitting ctrl d and in the top layer i'm just gonna rename it to roto and just unmute this one but anyways as you might already guessed we're gonna rotoscope out our clip so for that i'm just gonna put my resolution to full select my roto brush tool right here and double click on the clip it will bring it on the layer panel and now just start rotoscoping i assume most of you guys know how to rotoscope so i'm just gonna skip this part it is like a pretty simple like a process to rotoscope now after your rotoscope is done you can just freeze this right here so our rotoscope gets locked in as you can see after your rotoscope is frozen just go back to your composition panel right here and now here hide my background layer you can see our clip is rotoscoped out and separated from our background so that's exactly what we want right now but now we are gonna start adding all the lasers and stuff for the laser i'll actually be using a plugin called optical flares if you already don't know it is like a plugin from video copilot the guy who made element 3d as well and it is absolutely dope at adding all those like lens flares and stuff and and it can also add some laser type of effect so i'm gonna be using that so to add it just right click on a blank space go to new and in solid just make a new solid right here and in color just set it as a black color so simple black color and just hit ok now now in the solid we're just gonna add the effect called optical flares in here of course of course you need to install it first but but after you add optical flare right here go to options and you can see this like optical flare on our scene we don't want this like optical flare right now we want it like laser one if you are on lens object just go to preset browser right here and go to where it says natural flares right here and scroll down until you see a laser flare right here 
and you can see this is the laser flare right here looks really hard and it is like fully 3d and stuff which i really love you can bring up the scale you can go to where it says colors and set it to red i like it a little lighter red so around like here and you can just bring out the brightness a little maybe or even the contrast right here to get it a little bright as you can see looks hard now uh maybe bring out the brightness a little bit more actually so around like here now you can see we have this like dope laser on our scene so to add it on our clip we're just gonna hit ok to go back and now in here to remove the black and to get back our clip all you gotta do is toggle switch in the morse right here and go to where it says morse and just set it to screen right here or like linear doors maybe or something like there and you can use this like anchor point to move it around so something right there i'm gonna put one right here so it is on front of our subject so right there as you can see looks hard and now to animate this go to where it says position x and y and hit the stopwatch in there and in center position as well and and just bring up the keyframe by hitting you on the timeline and right way slow mos i'm gonna go here and put this keyframe around the end maybe so all this original keyframe is around the end and then now we can just slow it down the position and the center position as well maybe something like this i don't even know bro just do what you like to do right here maybe uh, something like there so it like comes to really smoothly as you can see so something right there now we can select those keyframe right there easy ease those and in graph make sure you are in speed graph right here speed graph and select those graph and just like make it something right there something right there so it like comes really smoothly right there as you can see that looks hard for sure yeah that looks hard for sure bro that looks hard then now we can even bring it a little more like there maybe something like right there yeah so you can see now we have the first laser going on it is also animated that's exactly one what we can also do is like toggle switches and morse and just turn on the motion blur right there to get it that motion blur looks really hard and at the start as you can see it pops up out of nowhere so to fix that you can just hit t on a keyboard to bring up the opacity and hit the top watch in the opacity right there and just put this keyframe around few frame forward and just lower down the opacity right here yeah i guess that yeah i guess that looks really hard right there yeah 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 for sure maybe a little title on the graph yeah that looks hard for sure now you can see our first laser is pretty much done so now we'll start working around the another laser which will go behind our subject so for that we're just gonna duplicate this solid right here as well and actually remove this position x and y keyframe and the center position keyframe and just position it on the opposite direction so around like here so it's like crossing out and same thing with the with all of these you know what i'm saying so all of these you can just play around yeah i guess that positioning looks really hard so we're gonna select this solid right here i'm gonna name it like laser 2 uh, so you understand it better and in another one i'm gonna name it like laser 1 so now i'm just gonna select our laser 2 and put it between our rotor and our footage layer so it is between our like both of the clip and it looks like it is going behind our subject so now you can also hit the stopwatch on this as well according to our another laser so you can bring up all of these keyframes and just take it reference like hit the stopwatch in position central and the position x and y and go over to the first frame and do the same thing for it as well maybe we're gonna bring it from up so it comes from the upper side maybe that would look cool i don't know to be honest just like play around until you get something like cool you know what i'm saying or uh, maybe something right there and i'm gonna select these keyframes actually i never played around with position x and y keyframe for now but that doesn't really matter so we're just gonna go with graph now and do the same thing right here on the graph and now if you play through you can see we have our laser coming out like there if you want you can actually delay the animation by like delaying both of the keyframes so it is a little like delayed and looks a little natural you can say 
Yeah, that looks so hard, bro. That looks so hard for sure. And now our laser is done pretty much. Now we're gonna finalize this by adding some effects and all that sauce, you know what I'm saying? So firstly, we're gonna select our laser one. And in there, we're gonna add like a deep glow firstly. So add a deep glow. And you can just bring up the radius or the exposure as well. Uh, you can lower down the threshold as well and see how it looks. Or you can disable this deep glow right here. And, and if you have, you can add like an optical glow right here. Optical glow is really dope as well. So you can play around with all those glow to see which is the best one for y'all. But I think let's just go with the optical glow for now. Maybe bring up the radius a little more. And in ounce tint, I'm just gonna set it as the red color. So it gives that vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, so something right there, as you can see, looks really hard. Now you can copy this optical glow and just put it on the laser too. So the same thing goes for the laser that's behind our subject. I'm just gonna remove the deep glow from here cause it gone lag my computer properly. Now we have played through, you can see this, like our lasers look so cool after the glow. Now we're gonna add the dark type of effect that we want. So for that, we're just gonna create a new adjustment layer. So go to new and adjustment layer right here. And in this adjustment layer, just add a Sapphire hotspot right here. Sapphire is also a plugin. If you don't have Sapphire, just use like a levels with a hue and saturation to get that same look. Or you can even use like a curves to darken out your footage. But for now, we're just gonna go to where threshold and lower this down and hit the stopwatch in the threshold now and go where the laser comes in and just lower down the threshold so around like here so around like here yeah now we can easy these keyframes as well and do the same thing in the graph and do the same thing in the graph pretty much so it looks a little smoother you know what i'm saying so a little smoother so after this we're gonna add like the zoom so for now just right click on a blank space go to new and make a new null object right here and now select your laser layer, select your roto layer, select your laser tool and your background layer. And on this like parent and link, you can see this like pick with tool. Just pick it, just pick it to the null object tool right here. So it is all linked to that one layer. Now you can just select your anchor point tool and just put your anchor point on your subject. So around like here and go over to the beginning, hit the stopwatch in the scale. So around like here and go to around here and just like zoom it in maybe a little down so somewhere around like here yeah that looks so cool something around there 150 i guess now we can easy those keyframes and right where it comes we just gonna go over to the graph and just like line it up according to it and now you can see that zoom looks really smooth right there you can turn on all the rotoscope and uh, all the like the motion blur on there. So we have some motion blur going on. And after now, just make a, another adjustment layer right here. Maybe around like here and trim it till here. And, and now in here, I'm just going to add my preset. Uh, I'll be using essential effects for now, as I already told. So go to animation preset, go to user presets. And in essential effects v1, I'm just going to use the assim best wiggle right here. I guess this is one of the best wiggle on the scene if I saw you now. You can see that looks so clean right there with the zoom. It gives that like the energy that we want. And you can actually add it on like some like beat hits and stuff. It would look really hard. So something around like there. You can actually go to adjustment layer and just scale it up a little bit because it is like clipping at the edges. But everything else is pretty fine right there. You can see that wiggle is crazy. So if you want to download this pack and bunch of other effects like this, you can check Essential FX V1 out. It is one of my favorite packs that I ever made and it really helps me to like edit faster as well and it also helped a lot of other people to edit faster and better as well so i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but but you can see we're not done yet i think i'm just gonna select my laser one and go to optical flares right now and just bring up the brightness a little uh maybe something right here and just bring up the scale a little more maybe nah 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 a little more nothing too crazy on it actually uh, lower down the brightness a little and the same thing with lazy 2 as well so you can play around with this as well maybe yeah now nah, i think this looks really hard right here after like the size adjusted so now to finalize this i'm just gonna use some overlays so you can see in my timeline so you, you can see right here i have this like particle over right here i downloaded off of footage grid 
so i'm just gonna trim this and just like drag it on my and just drag it on my composition like right when like the wiggle comes in and you can just scale it up and just put it right there and now toggle switches and modes and in normal just set it as linear dos and just add like a tritone in there and just color it red actually so it matches the vibe you know what i'm saying so something right there now lastly we're gonna use another overlay that's from footage creator as well you can see this like lens flare overlay that i downloaded so i'm just gonna drag it on my clip on the top before my wiggle of course and in here as well you can add like a tritone and just color it red so it matches the five you know what i'm saying so something right there and this as well so it matches the five you can even add like a curves to top it off on the lens flare and you can actually add another adjustment layer before your like wiggle and trim it to the wiggle and just trim it to like the wiggle like duration and you can just add like a curves and make it like a S curve in here. Maybe something right there. Yeah, that looks hard. Yeah, that looks so hard, bro. That looks so hard. So now with that, I think we're done. And our and our final result looks something like this. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Because I try to provide a lot of values on every single video of mine. So I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'ma see you on the next one. Peace.